So in her case, the snake actually entered her house. This is so damn scary. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kwame Chumisi. This is going to be a quick one. So I call this Q&A, okay? So this is basically some of the questions you guys asked. I'm here to answer the questions for you. So I had a lot of DMs and most of you guys were asking if there were lots of snakes and spiders in Australia. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the snakes part, okay? So do we have lots of snakes in Australia? Hell yeah, there are lots and lots of snakes in Australia, guys. I'm not even kidding. They are a lot and lots. Just last week, we had a little visitor at our backyard. So luckily, I saw it. Then we ran inside. Then I called the snake catcher. And the snake catcher came quickly and got rid of the snake for us. I am terrified and I am scared of snakes, man. Not even kidding. I am so scared of them. And yes, there are lots of snakes in Australia. But you will not see them everywhere in Australia. They are mostly based at the, what do you call it, at the warmer part of Australia. When I was living in Sydney, I never came across a snake. The only place I saw a snake was the Taronga Zoo. So when I went to the zoo, that's where I saw a snake. But I never saw a snake like outside in the park areas or, or like in the walk areas or at home. I never saw one. I moved to Brisbane in 2019. Yeah, and when I came to Brisbane, I settled at the northern part of Brisbane. So there's a suburb called Griffin. So Griffin, Mango Hill, North Flays, get into Kabucha. Okay, and there are a lot of snakes, man. Since I came here, I've seen tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of snakes. Not even kidding. Sometimes when you're even walking, like going for just a normal walk, you see snakes just what do you call it um maneuvering around on the pathway into the bushes um i joined this facebook group so i'm going to share those with you guys sh um, shortly and a lot of people share photos and videos of snakes that they've had encounter with and as i said just last week we had a little visitor of snake that came into our backyard and the crazy thing is we don't even live around a bushland area we are a bit far from the bushland area but still this snakes this snake, I don't know where it came from, was just relaxing at our backyard. Luckily, I saw it and I had to run and take my little girl and we went back inside. Called the snake catcher and the snake catcher came within like, what, five minutes to get rid of the snake for us. Yes, so this sets me back $120, guys. So I had to pay the snake catcher $120 to get rid of this tiny snake for us. I wish I could get a video of that, but he didn't want to be on camera, so I couldn't get a video of him. He basically just picked up the snake like that. It's like, yep, oh, this is a good one. Then just put in the snake bag and went. It's like, oh my God, how are these people doing it? Let me quickly share some of the videos with you guys. Yeah, so okay guys, so just last week, luckily I did the lawn. So yeah, the day before I made sure all the grass were cut. So I did my back um, yard lawn, I did my front lawn. So everything was like nice and neat. And just the day before, that was on a Saturday, we did the laundry and we're going to the um, clothesline to just hang the clothes there. I looked at the backyard and this little guy, this tiny, but was very long, man. Like just about one meters long. So this little guy was just relaxing at my backyard and it's crazy. Yeah, cause we don't even live um, around any bushland, but this little guy, yeah, I don't know where he came from, man. Just came and started relaxing at my backyard. Luckily I saw it. So I was running really fast, took my daughter inside, locked all the external doors and make sure there were no holes for the snake to come inside. And I had to call the snake catcher. Okay, so this is basically a video of it. Yeah, so this little guy was just having fun at my backyard. It's crazy, guys. Ooh, this even gives me chills, okay? So do we have snakes in Australia? Yes, but they are also, um, all these snakes are found at the warmer parts of Australia. So I live in Queensland and Queensland has um, got this warm weather. Okay, so as you guys know, um, snakes are cold-blooded. Yeah, so they cannot control the temperature inside. So when um, it's, it's hot, they normally just get out. Yeah, so they can get a bit of sun and also can get a bit of feed. That's why you see a lot of snakes. So I think this is like a clear photo. All right, so yep, this guy was at a backyard. And this is the first time since I came to Australia having a snake coming into my house at my backyard. 
Now I live in a neighborhood called Mango Hill. So Mango Hill is close to Griffin. And it's close to North Lakes, and I'm a part of a group um, called the Griffin Neighborhood Group. So let me quickly share some of the snake photos that um, these members share on the platform. All right. So just yesterday, okay. So just yesterday, one of the members. I'm going to hide the uh, details. Yeah. Basically said, I'm going to read this out loud. So sitting outside the other night, having a cup of tea, no lights on, enjoying the quiet, heard a couple of little noises and felt uncomfortable. So I got up to go inside only to see this guy hanging out right next to me. So basically she was there having a cup of tea with all lights off and this snake was sitting there right next to her, but she had no idea. Okay. I had been sitting there for a good 30 to 40 minutes. So goodness knows how long it was there right next to me. So this is her sitting down, having a cup of tea for a good 30 to 40 minutes. And this snake was right next to her and she had no idea. Okay. <laughs> she had no idea. Oh my God. This is so scary, man. This snake is huge. Do I have an interest or fear of snakes? Yes. She's scared of snakes. Did I nearly wet myself? Yes. <laughs> this is hilarious. Do I consider moving houses immediately? Yes. But the thing is, where are you moving to? Unless you move to like a colder part of um, what a Queensland, you're always going to encounter snakes. You're always going to encounter snakes. So let's just have a look. Oh my God, this is huge. Look at the snake head, guys. Ooh, this gives me chills, man. So she was basically sitting right next to the snake and she had no idea. This is so scary. Oh my God, look at this. This is so, so scary. Oh, and we've got a video here. So you can see the snake just moving around. Oh my God. So in her case, the snake actually entered her house. This is so damn scary. This is so damn scary, guys. So do we have snakes here? Yes, we've got a lot of snakes in, um, in Australia. But if you are living at the colder part of Australia, um, I don't think you're ever going to see one, but when you travel to the warmer part of Australia, so I'm thinking more like Queensland, um, northern part of Queensland and maybe Western Australia, cause, um, they also got like a warm weather. Yeah. So around those parts, yes, you will see snakes. Oh, this gives me chills. So you can see the snake just moving and having fun in the house. This gives me chills. So there you go guys do we have snakes in australia yes we do and i actually had one at my backyard it is crazy and guess what i had to pay 120 dollars for the snake catcher to get rid of my tiny snake this is crazy okay let me go back to the group and show you other stories okay so i'll just come here and i'll type in snakes okay so Hi everyone, snakes are on the move and wanted to share an exciting new resources we have created. So these are like, um, they've created, uh, giving like a lot of information, common snakes of Brisbane backyards. Oh, in my case, this is the one that came to my backyard, exactly this one. Yeah, let me quickly maximize. So come on, three snakes. Yeah, so this is the one that came to my backyard the other time so so scary i'm scared of snake guys okay so this one just a reminder to keep your doors closed and keep an eye out in your house just had this gorgeous baby killed back in my lounge room so this guy also entered what do you call it the house so scary whoa this was this year january 13th so this huge snake i know this area so this is around north lake so we got this lake um, around the North Lake side and we walk here most times and this snake was just relaxing in there So have a look guys. So this big snake Was just relaxing. So this is a pathway where a lot of people go for a walk and you can see the snake right there You see So the snake was just right there relaxing Gosh, this is scary so there you go guys so if you're thinking of coming to australia yeah do you come but if you are scared of snakes then target the colder part of um, what do you call it of australia okay so maybe um, melbourne canberra and um, tasmania yeah 
going to the southern part of Australia, then I don't think you will ever encounter snakes. But if you're scared of snakes and you, um, you want to get, I don't know, stay away from snake, then stay away from the warmer parts of um, Australia. So this was just a quick one. OK, so this is basically a and a yes, to answer um, some of the questions you guys had in regards to migrating to Australia. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.